Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Freynam. Welcome to our English class, uh, class 9th English Takes and Chapter, the last sermon of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. We had studied and we had read something before, but uh, today I'm going to give you a full summary of the chapter. And you are going to uh, read the chapter and then you have to try to solve your problems there. Then you can also consult us. Okay, so the topic, the chapter is about the last sermon of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, what is the story? Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born five in 571 AD these are points to remember 571 AD at Makkah in Quraysh he belonged to Quraysh family okay when he born and when he was given the Nabua so after he starting preaching Islam in Quraysh that time Quraysh were uh, not Muslim so they used to uh, worship their false God and they did not believe in one God so other Muslim sallallahu alayhi wasallam told them he preached Islam to them and told them that do not uh, worship to the false God but believe and worship to the one and the true God so the Quraysh uh, did not accept Islam many of them did not accept Islam and they opposed this uh, this new faith after that their opposition became so fierce that it was really difficult for the Muslim and for the uh, Muhammad to stay in uh, Mecca so what happened there the main story is coming that they migrated migration to Medina 622 AD in 622 AD, Hazrat Muhammad sallam, with his follower migrated to Medina. Hijrat ki unhone. On this migration, in this migration, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was accompanied by his faithful friend Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And this event is known a, uh, in history as Hijra. Hijrat ke naam se ye hamari tarikh mein jo hai jana jata hai. Okay, what happened there in Medina? When Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa went with his follower to Medina, he founded an Islamic society based on three principles. Remember th these three principles. He founded an Islamic society in Medina. And there were three principles in that uh, uh, Islamic society. The first one was that all power belongs to God. There is no one who is authorized or who is uh, shared the authority with Allah. No. There is no one. So all power belongs to God. And Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his point himself, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his prophet. Okay, this was the th second. The third one is all Muslims are brothers to one another. These three principles are really necessary for the students to remember and to learn. Okay, he also gave a great status and great uh, respect and legal equality to women with men but legal equality okay he tried to make the people to live with sincerity with honest dealing and for the first time in history a universal human brotherhood effect of three and principle of common law his support and guidance all their work was the quran he did not do anything himself but everything he did was from uh, the quran okay on then there is another occasion or another uh, event that they came after the, the hijra of uh, a 10 year and the 10th year of the hijra after 10 years they spent in makkah uh, medina and then they uh, decided to go to makkah to perform the hajj so in the 10th year of the hijra they went to makkah to perform the hajj with the followers okay on this historic occasion hadad muhammad embraced a large gathering there that was the real uh, point that the last sermon and this was the last sermon of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so he embraced a large gathering of Muslim on Mount Arafat remember the point on Mount Arafat it is a place near to Mecca okay in this sermon he once again repeated the message of Islam he said there is no God except Allah he is the only God none shares his authority and power he fulfilled his promise and helped his prophet against the forces of evil and the main statement was in the address that all people it's now in a direct mood so all people listen to me carefully we may not have the opportunity to meet again in such an assembly after today okay 
He quoted a words from the Holy Quran and said, Allah says, O mankind, this is now the real point for us to learn and to follow. Okay, O uh, mankind, Allah says, O mankind, we created you from a male and a female and made you in tribes and nations so as to be known one from the other. The nations, the tribes, it is is only for knowing each other. Okay. And in the eyes of Allah, the most righteous is the most honorable among you. The person who is, uh, where we say in Urdu, muttaki, but has God. He is the right person and he is close to Allah. The people who have lots of properties, etc., they are not close to Allah. Yeah, that in today's uh, era, in today's time, we are doing that. The people who have a lot of money, they are respected, etc., like that. But in our Islam, we have something different, you know, the concept is different. The people who are righteous, who are worshipping to God and who are real, uh, uh, honest and uh, sincere, they are really close to God. Okay? The, righteous, the most righteous is the most honorable among you. In the light of this verse, no Arab is superior to an Arab. Before this, and Arabic, uh, that uh, there was a concept that you know the people who were Quraysh or who were Arab, they were respected, and the other people they were not as respected as that. But Hadram Sallallahu removed this all thing, and he said that. Uh, no Arab is superior to an Arab, nor is a white man in any way better than a black man. So this is also a point. Only the goodness of a person makes him superior to others. The whole of humanity is the offspring of Adam and Adam was created from dust. Adam was created from dust. The whole of the, the, whole of the humanity is the offspring of, of Adam and Adam was created from dust. So now the main point is here. I therefore crush under my feet all the false claims to greatness and superiority founded on blood or wealth. This is the real point there. There is no superiority to the people who belong to great nations and who has, you know, uh, um, a lot of properties or wealth, etc. like that. So there is no concept. He further said, Oh people, a Muslim is another Muslim's brother and all the Muslims are brothers among themselves. I'm sorry that today we are not having, you know, the brotherhood, but it is really necessary that Hazrat Musa Sallam told us that we are brothers. Okay, so we have to, uh, we have rights, bro a brother has rights on another brother. We should focus, uh, being a student, you should learn this thing that how to spend a good life, not only to read the book and to just, uh, you know, pass your exam and get good marks. Okay, finally he said, I have given you the message of Allah. I'm leaving among you a thing which will guide you. If you act according to it.